Hong Kong and up at the top meeting them, Rasmus Genka, the home player against Xi Yu Chi. And from El Salvador, Ural Francisco Canjura Tiga taking on Angus and Carlong. Good matches. Oh, as for this one, more Kodai has been very much the man of the moment. Here's his opponent making his way up the entrance platform. 24 years old, oh, sorry, world ranking of well, 24 years old and rank 24. Toma Junior Popov plays men's doubles, of course, with his brother, and he'll be doing that later on. I wonder if he'll be holding back. He really can't do that against the likes of Kodai Marioka. Second appearance for Toma, and he has progressed already past the first round, which was his best beforehand. As for Kodai, well, his fourth appearance, or second appearance, I should say, and second round best for him. So he's expected, based on the form that he's had this year, to progress even further. Third in Japan, third in Korea, third in Canada, quarter final at the Indonesian Open, second at the Malaysian Open to Victor Axelsen. He's only five foot eight. And I say that because for any height that he makes or that he's lost he makes up for with just incredible speed around the court and never gives up he will literally play the games to 30 points all three of them if he needs to very much man of the hour and it's going to be a handful for on the junior pop off. So the last time they met was but in I Denmark last year. Or red? 1 1. Red. Oh, okay. Black. The red is for him. God, I came through the winner that time, of course. Red. Since then. Standard that side. Have a good match. He has just had a meteoric rise. So this is going to be a real handful for pop off. World number 24 taking on the world number four. As you can see, just 22 years old, plenty of his career left to come. Has been as high as number three. That was, of course, earlier this year in May. What a fantastic year he's had. Bronze medalist at the Sudirman Cup in Suzhou earlier this year. Double bronze medalist at the Thomas Cup 2020-2022. And also bronze at the team championships in Manila. That's where I actually first saw him playing. And he'd love to change the colour of those medals, I'm sure. Oh, this is round one. Results, 33 minutes, 21-7, 21-10. Look at Rabba. That's the opponent that time. That's for Tomo, 24, as I said, born in Bulgaria. Before he took up his... French citizenship and he has been as high as 21 that was back in November of last year big performer at the European Games double bronze medalist singles and doubles with his brother this year bronze medalist at the European Championships as well 2022 in Madrid and has picked up a couple of uh, titles on the tour 39 minutes 21 7 21 17 was his round one result Tobias Quincy was his opponent. She picked up four titles at the Super 100 and Super 300 level. I'm proud of this one, Artur. Ready so to play. Our service judge, Caroline Wern. Well, the last time they met in Denmark, Kodai comes through. And since then, 
He has faced the best and taken them. Proved a serious test for the best. Oh, about ready to get underway here. It's been doubles all the way on court two this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kodai Naraoka, Japan. And on my left, Tomat Jr. Popov, France. Good. French support Kodai in the crowd, I hear. Kodai very much. One of the top players now. Men's singles in Japan, Kenta Momota still finding his way back really from his troubles. Marioka has stepped up. Of course, there's Sunayama, Nishimoto. Well, that's a wonderful winner immediately from Popoff into the corner. One love. Well, if he can maintain his intensity, then Popoff. Could be a dark horse for this one. But based on the form he's been in, you'd have to say this could be another Kodai moment. Incredibly fast pace. His opening points that's gone out. Our well, challenge coming that Kodai certainly looked out. In. And I'd be very surprised if this was called in. Oh, it is. Oh, I stand corrected. Not challenge only is it in, it's very much in. One challenge remaining. Two, oh, good start for pop off. Play. has found his speed but he hasn't necessarily found his accuracy Popov has moved to a three love lead well deserved as well he's soaked up the pressure and he's delivered when he needs to That was a great shot One, into the corner. Now, the drifty conditions here in the Royal Arena really affecting singles, of course. The Kodai with that advantage from that side of the court. So far, Popov using his height well. Does have that distinct height advantage. That can be both a benefit and a curse. If Kodai can start playing some really deep drop shots into front court, then that height advantage is going to work against Popov. He's going to have to get down really low. And of course, in terms of reach and court mobility, it's only going to take 
pop off a couple of steps to get over court. And that's where the benefits come in. And as with so much in badminton, it really is a double-edged sword for attributes as to how they work for you and how they work against you. 4-2 on serve. So far, very good start for the Frenchman. Wow. 414 kilometers an hour. They really punched that in. With a shot like that, doesn't matter how fast you are, it's going to go past you. So far, he's done well to impose that physical presence, pop off. Him and his brother have been very active on the world tour and pretty successful too. Oh. Oh. Forcing the pressure Five. there, oh. speeding up the points. open up now a little bit. So Sanders trying to drop it into front court. A bounce of the tape helps him there. Six, five. And that does seem to be his intention to keep Pop off at least crouched in mid court, front court trying to retrieve those shots. That's gone wide. So, first two-point lead for Kodai. <laughs> That's great defense from him. Great on the attack, great defense from Popov. That's gone too long, but creditable work from the Frenchman. Marioka looking for the winner. Thank you. 
Oh, well, mopped up, breaking rhythm. Thank you. Kodak still three points ahead. Wouldn't say looking comfortable at this point. But he is trying Eight, to push the tempo. Five. Keep Popov moving. One. And also keep him retrieving low shots. Forcing the air again. Nine, five. Kodai, there he is looking for the winner again. Oh, wonderful from Popov. Service over. Was up against the wall. Six, nine. That was a great pickup. Found a couple of good winners into that mid court area on the right. said it before and I'll say it again so far good winners he's definitely got the skills that he needs to start and try and win the point of course he's gonna have to get that frequency up he's gonna try and win the game or the match still early days in the first game let's see what he's got as we approach the first mid-game interval Focusing on front court, Kodai. Oh, I don't know if that's that great a strategy anymore because Popov is great at picking these up. Service over. Ten, nice six. little jump from Narioka for the winner. Of course, Kodai's. No stranger to playing big players. World number one, Victor Axelsen, is a very, very tall man. And he's taken him to task in finals. Of course, Victor's movement and accuracy is unbelievable at times. So he's had the best test in terms of learning curve for playing players that are taller than him, bigger than him. More of a physical presence. Mistake from Popov, and it's 11-6 at the first mid-game interval. Called out. No challenge Seven, coming. 11. Eight, 11. We'll look back to his coach, Godai. 
He knows he should have done better with that. As I said, I'm not 100% convinced now that this strategy of playing the drop shots to the front to keep Popov retrieving is as successful. He is ahead, but Popov has shown that he's quite happy to do that all day. Oh, that's a great little interception from him. As you can see from that point, not only is he fine with picking those up, he's quite good at pinging off the winners, so Kodai's going to have to watch himself there. At his age, it's all about the strategies. The skills are undoubted from the Japanese player, but picking up the strategy that works for him to work with this electric speed of his. That's something that will come with time. 12-9. Ongoing conversation between Popov and his coach. 12-9. Again. Just focusing on that front court. Sorry, He's got to get it right. 10, 12. I wonder if he's going to switch at some point, try and go past Popov because the flanks seem to be open. He's got the ability for these down the line winners. We haven't seen any of them really from him. We've seen a couple of cross court winners from him. He hasn't tried to go down the flanks. <laughs> Straight to the body. The pressure worked. Service over. 13, 10. Well, I guess if you're ahead, I change your strategy. So, four-point lead now for Kodai. Thank you. Thank you. Back on court. Oh, Popov had the advantage. He Grab that point from Kodai with that flat exchange at the net. Was just looking to finish it off. Push it into the corner. And again, snatches that. 11, 15. Intercepts it with the body shot.
Oh, what a wonderful little drop in from Marioka. And I think that's what he's been expecting to, 16, to do. Or at least the result he's been expecting to get from those. That's one of the first shots that Popov has missed in terms of recovering it. But generally speaking, he's been bringing it back. He hasn't been caught flat like that at the front as much as I think his Thank opponent you. would have wanted. 16-11. So much expected from Kodai Naroko based on what he's done this year. Play. Still a very young player. Oh. Oh, he's just left that. And he's left it. And it's worked against him. 12-16. Reflex defense. 17, 12. That was an easy kill for. Well, in the end, and he's closing in on securing this first game. As always, getting that first game in is going to really give him that extra sheen of confidence to be able to execute his game. Great defense from Kodai. Very fast play. Again. And it's gone out. Well played. Toma Junior Popov challenges called out. Is out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Nineteen twelve. Play. So, eight game points for game point Kodai. 12. That's big. Oh, what a winner by Narioka. Plucked that out of the air. First game won by Kodai Narioka, 21-12. So, 23 minutes and 21-12. So far, so good. Concentrate. 
опита и направата на прещ тежето за другото, което е още от структура на сервис. Даже го ли граждане? So back on court for second game. Could I now going to have to acclimatize to this other side of the court? Based on the strategy that he's been playing, which has been effectively 100% in front mid-court, that should work out fine for him. It'll be interesting to see if he does try and work anything to the back. Well, that's something immediately. Off and he follows it up with a good little block. One block. Quick. That was the big shot. And just a push, really, into the corner. Wrong foots, Narioka. Shake of the head from Popov. And a smile. Naroka, he's almost saying, nope, you're not going to get away with that one. I don't think so. Oh, a bit of mind games going on. Who doesn't want to see that in sport? That's beautiful control from... Marioka he knew exactly where he was going to send that. Well, it's a very tight serve. Again, it's the body shot that works. Two love, two all. Nice winner. Service over. Absolutely on the line. Exactly where he was going first to the right, then Service to the over. left. 
three all. Nice moving pop off around. That was right, that was a setup, and then straight to the left. It's four three all. Very nice from Popov. That's where that extra height comes in. Balanced start for Popov from the second game because he's playing into the drift. Huh. Oh, that's a great angle to see the action from. Off, just keeping it nice and low, just below knee level. Five, four. He's having a fight for every single point right now. And his fans are back in full voice. That's a good point for him. Pop off, and he's really coming into his own now. That's what I said about he might need a different strategy now because he's picking up those shots in front court, those little drop shots, and gaining control of the point and then beginning to fire left and right. 6 4, good performance from him. Could I play? Oh, a little break and play for the wipe down. Thank you. Play. Very much directing this point. Pop off chasing, but doing well enough to keep in it. Oh. Just switches the angle at the last minute. Six, and that's the first that we've seen down the line. I did say earlier that that might be a very good. 
area for him to start picking out some winners. His pop-off does seem to be moving around that centre area. That's five. Seven, six. to retrieve that pop-off. He's putting everything into this point. Nine, six. So a couple of mistakes along the way, and could like three points up as we move towards the second mid-game interval. To the body, there's the expected apology. That's Kona will take that point. 10 6. like that he's up again in the second mid-game interval been doing enough pop off to get underway in the second phase of game two this is of course the passage of play that he has to own he's going to take it to three as i said earlier kodai has absolutely no problems with playing the third deciding game he'll take it all the way to the end if he needs to it's drifted out wide Eight, eleven. Placed by Pop Off just below the hip. Quick 
Exactly. Thank you. Slip from Kodai, he still tried to make the shot. Great little drop in by Popoff, absolutely wrong footed him. He still tried to somehow connect his racket to the shuttle. So that lead cut down to one now and this has been a good start to the second phase of game two for Tomo Jr. Popov. And we just get this feeling that there's a lot more still to come in this match. Thank you. Come on. So on serve, 10-11, and a great chance for Popov to try and craft out some kind of lead. And that's wide. So he's tied it up at 11 apiece. And suddenly things not quite as rosy as Kodai Nairoka would have wanted. 11-8 up, remember. It's been a good run of points from Popov. That was good. Lunges forward. Service over. 12-11. Cuts the reaction time down. Goes for the body as well. I find it odd that that's a great way to win points, body shots. Oh, that's nice. Almost a doubles exchange at the net. 12 all. Well, pop off. Credit to him fighting hard in the second game. wonderful angle that we get to watch the action from. You can just see that, how low some of these shots are coming in. Good tracking back by Kodai. He's the one who's rushing around now. Popov asking all the questions in this point. Oh, he's got straight past him down the line. I did say the flanks could come into play. Well, his fans are absolutely loving this. All seated right behind him. It's as if they knew which court he was going to be playing on. And there they are. Got a good following, the Popoff brothers. Oh. 
Cook in the lead. Wow, well, a mistake there. That's cost him. That's cost him. Important point. Difference between 14 12 and 13 all. But I think it's safe to say that Kodai might be losing his grip on this second game. Turning into a physical and crunching affair. Thirteen oh. Play. Popov looking to push the issue. Oh, what a winner from Kodai, pulled out of the hat. 14, 13. You just see what Popov was trying to do. He was just trying to really push up the tempo of that point. And then out of nowhere, Kodai pulls this out. Smart play from Popov. It's good body defense from him as well. That's a great rally. Just too deep. 15, so I wonder if that two point lead that Kodai has just managed to engineer and that's the only word you can really use engineer because it has been hard fought tooth and nail i wonder if that's going to be enough far more difficult task for him in this second game they've been on court for 46 minutes already Again, it's a winner into that corner. 16, He's getting a lot of reward from that. Drop by Toma. 14, 16. Oh. 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 He's got to watch those. Errors now, it's crunch time. That's a shake of the head from the coach and he knows this is not the time now to be gifting points. Went for the winner and it's another overstretch from him. So Kodai with an absolutely golden opportunity to put this match to bed saw what he was trying to do maybe Popov has to not look for that winner and be doing what he's doing which is playing out these rallies and pushing the intensity of them 
So he can force Kodai to make a mistake. Oh, he's out of position. That's an easy kill for Kodai. 19, Smart move. 14. From Narioka to find that angle. That's where he was caught out. That's a pretty good return from him all in all, but was never going to be in prime position again after that. So Deceptive from Kodai, that was really deceptive. So six match, match points point for Narioka, and he's one point away from his best ever result at the World Championships in his second edition. Which would be a spot in the third round. Even with the curl pack and you saw the amount of drift that was left right on that. That was never coming back in. When it's gone, it's gone. to find out right winners against playing like Narioka misses that one so the slimmest of chances but what's all important here is that Popov cannot make a single mistake not only does he have to take this to extra points he's then gonna have to win a third game as well it's a monumental task but for the next four points you cannot make single mistake thank you come on change change yeah if you, if you want to okay What a point, late take. Recovered well. And that's the mistake I was talking about. 21-12, 21-16. 52 minutes. And Kodai Narioka is into the third round here in Copenhagen. Valiant effort by Popov, who, as usual, fought tooth and nail right to the end. He'll be on court again later on with his brother, of course, for the men's doubles. Today, it's another Kodai moment. So there's confirmation of it. Very good match to watch. And Kodai progresses and will meet either Jason Tay or Lee Chuk Yu in round three.
Coming up next, it's mixed doubles. Reginald Lee and Ng Si Yao against Cheng Tang Ji and To Yi Wei. Don't go anywhere. So court two action here. And as we move through our fifth match of the day, it's the mixed doubles again. Uh, Reginald Li Chin Hei and Ng Si Yao taking on Cheng Tang Ji and To Yi Wei from Malaysia, the 14th seats. And looking at the draw, well, as you can see, round three filling up very, very quickly. It's Watanabe and Higashino against Kushajanto and Kusumawati. All seeded affair already set up. And the winner of this match is going to face the uh, informed seventh seeds, Gikel 